Hello everyone. I welcome you to my class on cat for fashion. In our previous class we learned how to make a mood board. So I hope all of you are ready with one mood board of your choice. Now the second step after we may we have made a mood board is to extract the color story from the mood board. Now how are we going to do that? Now uh, students once you are ready with all your images on different different layers and a complete composition like this let us now create one layer which has all these images together this means we are going to create a merged copy of all the layers merged copy means there will be one layer which has all this pictorial information and of course all the layers will also be there which have separate elements of what you have created so for that what you have to do is you have to press ctrl plus shift plus alt plus e ctrl shift alt and letter e e for elephant all together and it will create a merged copy of all the layers on which you have worked so i can show you here so we have created this is the merged layer of my mood board i can name it as cartoon mood board so this is the first step that you have to do and then just switch on this layer and switch off all the other layers we do not need them we need them in case we require to edit Okay, so I am just switching off all the layers on which I have worked. By the way, this is not my mood board. This is one of my students work. So this is the mood board now, which is ready. Now, how are we going to create a color story on top of this? So she has left this space wherein she's going to create her color story. For this, you, what you have to do is you have to go here and create a new layer can you see here create a new layer so just cl click here and create a new layer i can name this as color one i can have four to five five to seven colors in my mood board so once i have made this i will go i will stay in this layer select your rectangle marquee you can select rectangle marquee you can select square you can have uh, uh oval or round whatever shape you want to have just create this go to edit and fill this with the foreground color foreground color earlier we had filled it with content aware if you remember now fill it with foreground color press ok now you can see the foreground color was black so black color got filled in this rectangle selection now press ctrl d ctrl d to deselect this rectangle now the next step is to create five more rectangles of this shape so what you are going to do is stay in this layer only select the move tool move tool can you see here this is the move tool select this move tool and again come here press alt on your screen on your keyboard and sorry press alt on your keyboard and drag drag and drop again you can do this drag and drop drag again do this uh sorry just a second yeah press alt drag and press alt and drag so i have my six rectangles ready i can name them color color two color oh, color three color four color five and color six now in color one let's come back to color one i do not want black color though black color is there in my mood board if you do not want to have black color just come in this layer select the eyedropper tool now eyedropper tool is here can you see the crop tool here crop tool so under crop tool you have to 
you have to click this rectangle just a second and here you can see the eyedropper tool just select the eyedropper tool and once you are you have selected go back to your mood board layer because you are going to select the color from the mood board layer from here i want to just click wherever whichever color you want i want this red color so now my foreground color if you will see here the foreground color is now red so come back to layer one color one and take your paint bar, uh, paint bucket and fill this rectangle with this red color Similarly, for color 2, I'm again going to go to my mood board, take my eyedropper and I want this blue, I've selected this blue, take your paint bucket, go to color 2 and fill this with blue color. Again, go back to your cartoon mood board, take the eyedropper, select the color, go to color 3 and take the paint bucket and fill this I think this was sorry what has happened There's some problem in this particular layer so let's just remove this okay so no it was this so this is purple now go to mood board again take your eyedropper and i want this uh maybe white and i'm going to go to color four and oh sorry i have to choose i have, i was still on my white color go to color 4 take your paint bucket and fill this color 4 similarly go to mood board again take your eyedropper select this orange take your paint bucket go to color 5 and fill this again going to mood board taking my uh, this thing uh, my eyedropper and I want now this pink and go to color six take the paint bucket and fill this with so it has merged with the background only so we can choose some other color for this uh taking going back to mood board again and maybe this color okay so coming to color six paint bucket and fill this so my color palette is ready now you can see all these rectangles are not arranged in a proper sequence for that what you have to do is press color six layer press shift on your mood uh, on your keyboard and press color one all the layers they get selected together once they are all selected together go to move tool and here you can see this it says center vertically once you press this they will all be ar ar uh, aligned in one line and here they will be equally spaced so this is how it gets created and once you have done this you, you can merge all these layers color one to color six press shift select them and merge all these layers and once you are here then you can arrange them wherever you want to arrange them this is how we create the color palette in the mood board i hope this tutorial will help you in completing your mood board thank you so much